Hey everyone, it's Sean Lara, your friendly MagMod ambassador here. So today, the uh, or I should say this week, the MagMod community is doing something kind of cool. They're doing a before and after week, so um, I figured I'd do another how I shot it and edited video. So obviously this is uh, nothing new to me, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and show you one of my more popular images and show you exactly, uh, talk about a little bit how I shot it, um, what MagMod modifiers I used, and also show you how I edited it. So. The uh, photo in question today is this guy, and um, this is one I took up here in the mountains of Colorado, and I'm going to show you exactly uh, how we got there. So before we uh, jump into the editing, I do want to talk a little bit about how I shot this photo, and actually I believe this was one of the photos I did uh, um, an interview with Trevor Daly for, I can't remember though, but regardless, um, this image was actually quite an easy lighting setup. It's the same lighting setup I use for almost all of my outdoor portraits. And um, this one was shot with, uh, as you can see here, a D850 with a 70 to 200. Um, I really enjoy shooting with the 70 to 200, um, not, because, not only because it's so versatile, but because you get that compression. Um, you know, you can bring mountains and faraway objects um, in the distance um, you can make them appear closer to a couple, and that's why I love shooting with telephoto lenses for portraits. Um, not only to again be, uh, or not only to be flattering for the couple, but again to have that compression and really make things bigger than they actually appear to the naked eye. So, um, had this couple on top of a mountain last June. Still a lot of snow up there. They were freezing their ass off, but um, obviously worth it. Um, I used one um, Godox uh, 8200 to light them, modified with a mag grid to prevent spill. Um, in this particular scene, I really didn't need the mag grid, but earlier I was shooting with a wider lens and they were standing on some rocks, so I wanted to try to um, minimize the spill of light. And then I also um, put a mag sphere on there because I wanted to just slightly give that light a little bit more diffusion, make it a little bit uh, easier on their skin tones. And then finally what I did is I used a half CTB mag gel. Um, basically what that does is put out some slightly blue light on their skin tones. That way I can in camera or in post increase my uh, white balance dramatically so I can get more orange tones out of the skies while the light on them stays neutral. So I'm going to show you exactly how I shot and edited this. Here is the, uh, the original. So um, first thing I do before I import any of my photos is I actually have a custom preset here. It's called uh, just simply Sean Lara Import. Um, but in this case, what I do is I am, what I'm going to do is I actually have a specific preset for sunset, environmental sunset portraits, and that is my bold and vibrant sunset uh, preset. So here's kind of the before and here's after. So that already takes a lot of editing out of me or out of my way. Um, so a couple things here that I'm going to tackle. I'm going to bring out some more color in this sky. Um, I'm going to try to reduce these highlights a little bit. I'm also going to bring up some of the shadows on his face and um, kind of clone this little shadow out. Um, and we're going to go from there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, again, bring down some of these highlights in the sky, bring out some more color. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my uh, brush tool here. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is just, first of all, reset this, bring down my exposure a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the clarity, bring up some detail in those clouds, some more dehaze, bring up more, have some more contrast in those clouds as well. We're going to see what that looks like off the bat. So as you can see, already really making those clouds super dramatic. Let's go ahead and see where we painted. Okay, I'm going to just paint a little bit down here as well. Perfect. And as you can see, that's pretty close to my um, finished product. Um, it's just that preset that I developed really, really helps. Um, still getting a little bit of highlights up here, so we're just going to go back to this brush tool, bring down our highlights some more. There we go. Dehaze just a little bit. Now, one other thing I'm going to do is this highlight in particular on this cloud is really distracting to me. So I'm actually going to 
create a new one and just bring down the highlights and exposure quite a bit just on this particular cloud right here. So I'm going to paint over that. Not really seeing too much of a difference, so I'm going to go down even more. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to get a little picky here now. These mountains, I actually want a little bit more detail out of, so again, I'm going to create a new brush, or new mask, I should say. Bring up my exposure just a tad. Bring up my shadows a little bit and just kind of brush these mountains here. There we go. A little bit over here. Bring up my exposure just a tad. Too much. Perfect. All right, last thing I'm gonna do, bring up some of the uh, shadows in his face. This is kind of tricky. Um, when I prepared this for a competition print, um, this, actually, this photo actually won an ISPWP award. Um, when I prepared it for that, I, I spent a little bit more time, you know, kind of touching up the shadows here and on her chin and on her neck. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail with that today because that'll take me actually quite some time. And I don't want to bore you, but just kind of giving you an idea of what to do here. I just want a little more detail on his face. There we go. That looks actually really good. Awesome. And then the final thing I'm going to do is actually pull up a little bit more shadows right here as well. There we go. So final thing I'm gonna do is actually pull this into Photoshop because um, I wanna just clone out some of the distracting elements here um, and I'll show you really quickly what those are. Um, I mentioned there's this shadow here that I wanna get rid of and there's this, uh, it's kinda of hard to see, there's a little post right there and then I'm also gonna fix his shirt a little bit I'm thinking so let's see if this is pulled up into Photoshop yet for some reason it decides to load quite slowly sometimes there we go to read in my reading the image all right there we go perfect so gonna use my uh, spot healing brush tool here Look how easy that is. I'm gonna get rid of this post. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna, this I could spend a lot more time on, but I'm just gonna do a quick job. This, I'm just trying to get rid of the, his shirt, his untucked shirt a little bit here. Um, let's go ahead and, tool I don't use actually that often, but is the uh, liquify tool. Just gonna help um, get rid of some of these there we go let's go ahead and zoom in on him just kind of make that shirt a little bit more even this is a great tool by the way um, for taking pounds off people or doing exactly what I'm doing here. It's actually quite a popular tool amongst uh, retouchers, professional retouchers. So um, I'm not gonna get that perfect, but just kind of gives you a general idea of what I can do here. Um, that looks good. Command S if you're on a Mac to save it and it'll pull it back into Lightroom or a copy of it back into Lightroom, I should say. And that's it. That's, uh, that's our final product there. So, um, just to give you an idea of what the before looked like, let's go back here and reset. So there's before and after. And again, the biggest change for me, or the the the, uh, the edit that made my life way easier was this uh, bold and vibrant sunset preset I developed. It just makes editing so much quicker, so I don't have to do you know those same adjustments to every single photo. Um, and Right now, um, they I have not made them public, but I am planning on making them available to the public here pretty soon, probably in the next few weeks. So, anyway, thank you everyone so much for joining me. Um, again, this is uh, how I shot and edited it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, um, and make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube so I can make some more of these and you can see, no, get notified when I uh, upload them. So, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.